welcome back students so let's discuss the remaining part of this uh, chapter birth by aj pronin now in the previous video module we have learnt that finally dr andrew manson that he gave the child to the nurse that he took a sigh of relief because that was really a stunning uh, victory for him just like a battle in the battlefield and then Uh, finally that he mechanically run uh, out his sleeve pulled on his jacket because the whole night that he had spent there in the efforts he took the efforts to save the life of a child and a mother and he was successful and finally he said to the nurse that i will fetch my bag later nurse who said andrew he went downstairs later on he went downstairs through the kitchen into the scullery scullery means here a room for washing dishes and for similar work it means for washing uh, hands washing dishes uh, or such for similar work that he went downstairs then through the kitchen into the scullery uh, his lips were dry at the scullery he took a long drink of water that he drank, drank or he took a long drink of water he reached for his hat and coat he was about to leave his work was over so that's why he took his hat and uh, coat outside he found joe morgan standing on the pavement with a tensor and outside who was standing there we know that and in the beginning of this chapter when andrew manson and this uh, man joe morgan that they reached at joe morgan's home, uh, home that time joe morgan he did not go inside the home he was waiting outside he was moving in the pavement here and there so andrew when he came out that time he found joe standing on the pavement it means footpath and uh, with a tense tense means he was under a stress he was worried what would have happened there all these things then expectant face expectant means here in a hopeful manner that he was waiting for a uh, doctor's call that he was waiting for the result who joe morgan and we can understand his uh, expectation or uh, his worry that the man or the or a couple who were expecting their first child up to 20 years of their marriage and in uh, such critical condition is there so we can understand the feelings so now standing on the pavement in the tense uh, ex expectant face then and you said to joe morgan all right joe he said thickly thickly means here in a hard to understand tone understand i wrote in brief here just like an abbreviation in our note making so in this way that i wrote here understand now in a hard to understanding tone that because why he said in this tone that all right joe he said thickly both all right both means uh, mother and the child both are all right it was quite light nearly 5 o'clock in the morning early morning 5 o'clock a few miners were already in the streets they were already in the streets the people who used to workers who used to work in the mines that they were already in the streets the first uh, of the night shift moving out they were changing the miners in the mines that they were uh, shifting their duties there as andrew walked with them spent and slow he walked with the miners spent and slow spent means here tired clear spent means not that spent here but here spent is coming that is tired slow now his footfall and footfalls echoing with the others under the morning sky footfalls means the sound sound made by feet while walking this is what footfalls the footfalls echoing it means the sound there with the others under the uh, especially the morning sky he kept thinking blindly blindly that he was thinking about the uh, events which had been taken place there throughout the night plus already we uh, know very well that he had uh, a disappointing a disappointing uh, evening with kristin his girlfriend so now thinking blindly oblivious to all other work oblivious means here it means unaware not aware oblivious means 
unaware, not aware, oblivious to all other work he had done in uh, blindly. So then, blindly, I have done something. Oh God, I have done something real at last. And finally, he exclaimed. What did he say? Because it's a very uh, uh, crucial statement. You can underline this statement. This statement, which is given on page number sixty-nine. The last statement that you people can underline with a pencil. What? What is the statement? I have done something. Last statement. I have done something. Oh God! Exclamatory mark. I have done something real at last. So the question here comes: Why does Andrew say this? That what does it mean? Because we know that that was really an impossible, impossible task. Nobody was thinking that it was even the nurse. that midwife that she was also worried she was pessimistic she was not optimistic there because the child was born uh, the child was still born that was almost half dead and it was not possible to revive the child as per the textbook knowledge here that was not possible so that's why really that was uh, and uh, as as a doctor that he was individual first time in his career that he was dealing with the case individually without any help and that was just like a miracle which uh, took place there or he did it because we know that uh, he used his practical knowledge that he used his that uh, uh, it means we could say that uh, his uh, knowledge of uh, apart from the books his practical knowledge his experience that he used so that's why it is said that uh, there lies a great difference between textbook uh, medicine and the world of a practicing uh, practicing uh, physician there is there lies a great difference here because always uh, and every time we cannot go ahead with the textbook uh, knowledge it is not given at the same time if such case is the coming if such dilemma is coming just like here the doctor faced to the dilemma then what to do so just like a miracle for him there to save the life of a child and he did it due to his experience due to his confidence there or his persistence that he was able to survive the illness he was he was able to uh, save the life of both mother and child here so that's why that was unbelievable victory for him there for the task for him so that's why he exclaimed these words oh god i have done something real at last oh god so you understand this statement which we have to explain with the reference of this story so here children in uh, detail that we have discussed uh, the summary word by word of this uh, chapter i hope now you have understood it or you might have understood it now the theme of this chapter that we will discuss in the next video module thank you students